Hey girls, so this video is like my spring, summer, it's basically summer. It's May, which to me, May is summertime. Spring is, you know, April and March. May is classified as summer for me because normally I get out of school in May. This year we're getting out the very beginning of June, so. But okay, May is summer for me. So this is my summer, just almost like trends, but not really. They're not really trends because it's not really following any trends, but they're just things that I live by in the summer, products that I use in the summer, um, and that I think are pretty essential for everyone in the summer, if you kind of have the same taste as I do, okay? Okay, so the first thing for summer, and this is going to be the makeup edition. I'll do a fashion um, edition later, but this is just like the makeup one. So first, I'm going to start off with nail polish. If you've watched one of my latest videos, I have pink nails! Oh my gosh. Um, who would have thought? Okay, so if you know, you're probably watching this, you're probably like, your point being, my point is, I always used to do red. Um, m mainly, I did it in the fall in the winter, and now I'm kind of setting out that, you know, spring, summer, summer now, I am going to try out new colors. So, some of my favorite colors to do are um, this Baby Pink by Sephora OPI, and this is Dear Diary. It is a milky pink, kind of like my shirt I had on. Um, this, like, insanely washes me out, but... I don't know. The brighter light's better. Anyways, this is a beautiful, beautiful baby pink color. I am so excited to paint my nails this. I'm slowly inching towards different colors in red. You know, pink was my first step. Then I'm going to light pink, and then just who knows what my nails will be next. Um, but the next color that I really want to wear this summer, which would look so amazingly gorgeous with a nice tan, would be Bride's Bouquet, and this is by OPI. This one was Sephora by OPI. This one is actually an OPI nail polish, and it's Bride's Bouquet. It's a white. Oh, I'm so excited to wear this. I White nails, that's something so, like, different and kind of weird. And to me, that's, like, absolutely just awesome. So I'm super excited to wear this. The next thing I like are I'm kind of moving into corals, which is kind of like reds, but, you know, not red. So I'm proud of myself. Um, this is Sephora by OPI. It's a loss without my GPS. It looks kind of reddish, but it's actually kind of like a corally orange color. Really, really pretty. And my last one is a pink, and this is Borchies or Borchas. I don't know how you say that. And this is in Paradisco Pink. It's like a bright, intense, like Barbie pink. On the camera, it looks a little dark, but it's actually really, really pretty. Pink nails. I can do pink nails. That's what I have on, so I like that. So those are my nail trends. Now I guess I'll move on to makeup. So for summer, I'm so big into bronzer. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. I love looking bronze and golden, and it's just one of my favorite things for summer. So I don't really like getting a lot of sun on my face. I'll get into that in another video. I'm doing a self-tanning video soon for those of you who care to watch that. Um, I like self-tanning stuff, so I'm going to do that next. But today I'm doing bronzers, and my favorite bronzer is Max Bronze, which has a little bit of shimmer, which I know in my past videos I've said I don't like shimmer. Um, since then, my skin has really cleared up, and I'm really just lucky to have very, very clear skin. So I can kind of pull off a little bit of shimmer. Um, I said I didn't like it because when your skin is a little bit worse or just not, I guess, the texture you'd want it at, um, sometimes the like the shimmer will kind of pick up on the blemishes you have and it doesn't look as good. So definitely pick a matte bronzer if you have like skin problems. But if you're good to go on your skin, um, I would go for a shimmer one. And again, this is MAC Bronze and it's awesome. I also really like the Cargo one. This is a water resistant bronzer. Kind of neat. Um, I can't really say if it's completely water resistant, but it is, you know, it's worth a try. So I've had this for about, I think I got this last summer. Um, it definitely lasts a while, so it's kind of cool. And again, it's a shimmery bronzer. I'm not sure how these compare in price. Pretty sure they're pretty similar. Um, but this one you can get at Sephora, and that one you also obviously get at MAC. Again, with the video I just did with my Sonia Kashuk Bronze Face Palette. Um, there's a nice bronzer in here, and you also get the eyeshadows and lip glosses and a blush. So if you want to kind of quickly buy all your bronze makeup essentials and not spend a bunch of money on individual items, this is a good way to go as well, and that's available at Target. And I just did a tutorial with that too, so go check that out if you want to see that. Okay, on to lip products. I love, like, glossy, glossy lips in the summer, baby pinks, um, stuff that's really moisturizing as well. My favorite is the Dior, and this is the Dior Attic Ultra Gloss in 247. Beautiful baby pink. I have it on right now. Super smooth, no shimmer, just smooth, kind of milky baby pink gloss. 
love it. Looks nice over a nude lip or even over like a brighter lipstick you can put that on. Um, a drugstore alternative would be my L'Oreal Hip Jelly Bombs. This one is in plush. Really beautiful baby pink. These smell absolutely amazing. They're super moisturizing and um, they're easy to put on in the summer. It's not like you're, you know, putting your lipstick on, lip gloss on. Um, just kind of a quick swipe with your finger and you're good to go. Now on to summer scents, which is kind of an interesting thing because normally I'm kind of someone who only sticks to my DKNY Be Delicious Green Apple perfume, but for summer, I kind of like to do a little bit of different scents. I wear that one during the day every day, but you know, for summer, those summer date nights, you're going out, um, maybe with a special boy or something, and you want something that's really sweet and just really girly and feminine. Um, one of my favorite ones is Philosophy's Unconditional Love. Um, it's a really pretty bottle. Oh, this is just so, it smells so sweet. I can't even describe it. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I'll look up the scent, and I'll probably put the scent description down below. But it's just really, really sweet. It's not too heavy, um, but not too light. You can definitely smell it. It just smells like the quintessential smart, like uh, the quintessential sweet girl. Okay, it just it smells great, and I really like it. And it's called Unconditional Love, so it's definitely a scent that a boy would like. Um, another one of my favorite ones is the Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works. This is just, this is more, I would say, this is more like a playful scent, while this is more romantic. Um, this is kind of like fun, and it's very sweet as well, super, super sweet. Kind of, um, these are more along the lines of the Aqualina Pink Sugar, which I don't particularly love, but it's nice for kind of what I'm talking about. Um, these are kind of more on the lines of that. Definitely very, very sweet scents, but nice for um, summertime. And my last one, which would be for a date night is Miss Cherie Dior. It's a tad bit heavy, I guess, for the summer, but, you know, if it's a real fancy date you're going on, um, I think this would be really perfect, and it smells nice. Just a little bit is all you need. It's really, really classy smelling and just also very feminine. A great thing for scents, if you're wanting to try out a new scent for summer, um, I would go check out the Sephora scent sampler, and this, uh, let's see, how much was this? I think this is around $30. And you get 10 different scent samples of their best sellers at Sephora. So, and you get, um, open this up and show y'all real quick. Okay. You get, like, the testers of all of them. And then you get a coupon, which you can take into Sephora and receive a full size in whichever one you like the best. So, I'll read off the scents it comes with real quick. It comes with Aqualina Pink Sugar, um, Bulvagari, Amaline Crystal, Calvin Klein, Euphoria, Da Vinci, Very Irresistible, Gwen Stefani, Lamb, La Vanilla, La Vanilla Grapefruit, Marc Jacobs, Daisy, which smells really nice, Philosophy, Amazing Grace, which I really like. I have a body shower in that. Stella McCartney, Stella, Beer Wing Princess, which I used to have, which is another um, really good perfume for date night. Very sweet and girly. Okay, and last thing is for hair. Okay, so for my hair in the summertime, I like to have a good deep conditioner or leave-in conditioner. Um, I like the supposed... Sebastian Potion 9 Lights. It's a light wearable treatment styler. Spray it in your hair when it's wet. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of just let your hair air dry with. Um, a good alternative would be the Aussie Hair Insurance. And this is, again, a leave-in conditioner styler spray. Just kind of makes your hair nicer without actually having to do anything to it. And the last hair item for spring, would, or for summer, I'm sorry, would be you must, you definitely, definitely need a sea salt spray. You can make your own if you want to research that, um, but if you want to buy one, I really recommend the Fakai ones. This is the Marine Summer Hair, and I got this at Bath & Body Works last summer. It gives you beachy waves. It's like a mixture of, like, salt and, I don't know. But it says, give sexy tousled waves anywhere, anytime. It says it keeps hair hydrated and blocks moisture loss. It also has a UV shield to prevent fading. So when you're out in the sun, um, your hair color doesn't fade if you have this thing because it kind of prevents that. And this one is the Tossled Wave Spray. I'm not really sure what the difference between this is. I guess this is a Tossled Wave Spray and this are Beachy Waves. I don't know. Anyways, definitely get a Wave Salted Sea Spray and you'll be good to go. So those are my summer must-have items. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see a tutorial on this kind of wavy, beachy hair, um, I have one up using hot rollers. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.